Hi guys, bit of a different one today. Um, I follow a guy called AVE on YouTube. A Canadian guy does some really good videos, breakdowns of uh, power tools and uh, general sort of machining and stuff like that. And it got me thinking I'd quite like a, a new electric drill. Um, problem is they're quite expensive aren't they? Uh, you know, DeVaults, Makitas, whatever. And I looked at the Makitas and then I found out that um, it's actually it's a bit like inkjet printing. You know, they sell you the printer for for next to nothing and then try and uh, uh, ream you for the old uh, inkjet uh, ink itself. Well, it turns out that it's kind of the same, it seems, with the, the Makitas. Uh, Makita drill costs about 150 quid, 120 quid, something like that. But if you just look at the bodies, they're only about thirty pounds, or they start at that. So, here's some CHT ones. So this is some new range. They've got CHT uh, ten point eight volt lithium ion. You can see this is from Amazon. About thirty quid gets you a a drill. So uh, that sounds quite reasonable. Um, then you look at the batteries. The batteries are about forty five pounds. Chargers about forty five pounds. That's about ninety pounds there just for one battery and a way of charging it. Add a couple of batteries and then you're up to 130 odd quid. Didn't want to do that, so I thought I'd take a punt and get one of these uh, drills without a battery and then see if I could make it work with cheap LiPo batteries. So here's the drill I got. It's the uh, DF331D. It's uh, one of these uh, drill drivers. And uh, now I've modified this, so... Uh, I'll, you'll have to sort of look by my wiring which I'll explain but um, basically the bottom of the thing where the battery would usually slide in has got actually got three um, connections two major ones here but then a third one in the middle so I fiddled about and I found that this is positive and this is negative but sure enough if I tried to power that by putting positive and negative across that putting 12 volts across it I didn't get any anything. So I looked into it and eventually I found out that this middle pin here is actually looking for a signal from the battery pack to tell it that it's the, the battery pack isn't getting too warm. Effectively it's like a, a signal um, that of the temperature of the battery pack. Um, so it was a matter of fiddling about with uh, different voltages into this signal to try and fill the drill into thinking that it's actually got a proper Makita battery pack connected to it. And it turned out that a value of 2.5 volts on this this uh, middle pin fills the Makita into thinking that it's actually connected to a proper Makita battery pack. So that's good and that worked at that point. So how did I do it and how can you do it? Well first of all if you blow up yourself or your tools it's nothing to do with me so on your head be it. Uh, but what I've done here, it looks complicated, but actually this thing is just, you can get off the net, it's called a buck converter or a voltage regulator, it comes with various flavours, these are littler ones, but I found these to be pretty good. They're about £1, £2 on Banggood or eBay or whatever, um, and they're really simple to use. Voltage in, voltage out, that's it, okay, is that the right way around? Yeah, um, so uh, voltage in here, you've got a little pot here that you can twiddle until you get the voltage out that you want so just use a standard meter to uh, set it so that you get 2.5 volts in the output and the good thing about these is that uh, it'll adjust for the voltage so basically as the lipo discharges the voltage of the lipo gets less so it starts fully charged about a lipo will start fully charged about 12.6 volts and it will go down to about 9.9 .9 volts but through all of that this will keep it at two and a half volts coming out so that's important and it's why you need to use something like this and not just a, a couple of resistors and, a, and a, a voltage divider bridge because as the voltage of the LiPo goes down as it discharges, the voltage in the output will discharge uh, and your Makita will start to go, oh, the temperature signal that I'm expecting isn't there and it will stop working. So you want to use one of these guys. Really simple to wire up. You can see I've soldered in a big cable for the LiPo, which I'll talk about in a minute. A minute. Um, and then I've also taken a couple of positive and a negative feed off of off of what will be positive and negative, and I've fed it into this guy here. Okay, 
Um, I've twiddled this along um, so that it gets two and a half volts out. And then I've taken that feed, the output, and connected that, soldered that into the middle pin here so that it gets the voltage that it requires. So, why have I done this? I've done this so that I can use these guys. So these are basic standard LiPo packs for radio control and if like me you do radio control stuff or just generally any old electronics um, you tend to have a house full of them and they're really cheap you know about eight or nine pound gets you one of these packs as opposed to 45 pounds and it all adds up you know um, at least you know I can re I can use these with de different things and different applications. I've not got a Makita battery, which is only ever useful for a Makita drill, and a Makita charger, which is only ever useful for a Makita battery. You know, I don't want a house full of little things that are only useful like that. So here we go, and we'll plug it in, show you that it works. Perfect. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward to do. Um, as I say, you do need the, some way of feeding two and a half volts into here. If you don't, it won't work. If you do, you can use any old cheap lipo pack you want. Um, now it's not pretty, but it does the job. And it saves you some cash. Um, and a little bit of strap around there with a little, uh, little um, Velcro strap. That's doable, that. Bit of duct tape in the bottom. Job done. Um, so, I don't know if this will work with other drills types. Um, this is a, the CXT uh, Makita type. Uh, three pins in the bottom, and I can say that definitely does work with 2.5 volts um, into the bottom of it. And you get a full drill, if, assuming you've got lipos and stuff lying about for 30 quid. <laughs> 